heavyweight champ. Look, Anderson Silva got hurt bad in that round, Mike, and we can see it in the replay. Chris Weidman has been the champ since July 6th. Round two. which is something we've seen utilized so dynamically by the spider. There's a, there's a first inside leg kick by Anderson. Very fast. Anderson's hands are up still. And one of the most dynamic knockouts in UFC history was Silva on the Detroit Gulf War. You know, one of the things that I'm impressed with about Weidman, and I was impressed with in the first fight as well, was that he knows when not to come in. Right. He knows distance very well. He might not be as fast as Anderson, but he's very good at gauging when Anderson's going to move forward and he gets out of the way. And he makes Anderson think because of that. Whereas other guys have stood flat-footed in front of him and allowed Anderson to get his timing down and launch shots. There's a good shot to the body. Oh, nice. Oh, no. He hurt his leg. And it is all right. over. Anderson hurt his leg when the kick was checked. And Weidman remains the champion. He broke his leg. Anderson fractured his leg. You see his leg hanging loose now. Wow. He broke his leg. Unbelievable. What a crazy ending. The way it went. It snapped right in half. Quick, right now, please. Much like Corey Hill years ago, John. Very much like what a shocking end. Wow. Okay, we have to do that. This way. Got you, got you. So wow. On. It went completely limp. You can see it dangle. Unbelievable. Let's take a look at it again. We'll see if we can see it snap. Fight replay brought to you by Bud Light. Here we go. Watch this. He checks it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Wow. That's about as obvious as it gets. And as I told you, John 